all right guys so we removed this tie rod i thought i had a spare i don't so we need to place an order on rocky mountain and i think what i'm going to do is just get all four new ones because i think all the rest of them are old so i think we're just going to change all four and then i don't have to worry about uh maybe another one getting loose and having play so i think that's what we're going to do so uh we just have to place a quick order and then hopefully uh, get those in and then uh, we'll install them. So uh, we'll place that order. to Rocky Mountain definitely uh, with GNCC races and the Wainoa series we get the race gas credits which for most of you guys that race you know about those basically every uh, GNCC you get 20 bucks and every Wainoa you get 10 so we had uh, some race gas credits so we cashed them in so Good, uh, I guess this is a uh, little bit of a thank you to uh, Rocky Mountain. Definitely a good uh, go-to place for OEM stuff. They always have stuff in stock. And if you spend a certain amount of money, you get free two-day shipping. I think over 100 bucks, something like that. So uh, that's what we did. So we're going to remove all the, uh, the other three old ones and uh, put these on. So let's get to it.
doesn't feel horrible, but like I said, we're going to change all four. This way we know every one is good. And that leaves me, uh, I mean, a couple of these I can use for emergency spares. You know, for a local ride if I need it. But, uh, so now this one, this one's kind of sloppy. I think it was time. I think I just did one. And like I said, that one I just changed. I think I changed it again. I don't know. Hit a tree, which I'm sure that's probably the case. So we'll have four new ones, we'll be good to go for a while. on the machine. Mm -hmm. So on in the there. Side now, Not that one again.
those are on, those are tight. Get the tires back on and then we'll line it up. All right guys, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put two straps, lock the handlebars as straight as I possibly can. Then I got a string on the axle. So I'm pretty much just gonna run this string like this to give me a measurement on tow. I'll do it on both sides, try to get my uh, eighth inch on each side the best I can. This is definitely something I don't like doing. Um, I wish I had like a machine. There's a lot of guys that have some serious setups to get the tow and the camber and all that like dead perfect but uh we'll get it to the best that i can and maybe uh had a chance to see maybe b and r can double check it because he's pretty good at this stuff so we're gonna uh lock these straps down try to get the bars as straight as i can let's see i went almost oh definitely need definitely gotta uh fix it because look at that so it's way way in you guys can see so let me check the bars and then we'll start adjusting it. I and mean, the bars look pretty good. They look pretty good. So I'm gonna whack these down. There's one. There's two. So those are locked in pretty straight. So I think I'll just start by eye because obviously these are way, way, way in. I can see it. Both of them are way in. We'll double check with the tape measure too. So we'll start with this side, we'll try to go equal turns on each side so it's even, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to do, uh, i going to go in, that's out, so I'm going to go in, one thread, do the same thing on the other side. Let's see how this looks. This is really really close maybe a touch over a quarter which i'm okay with i'll ride it i think i'll ride it and then uh if i gotta adjust it it's easy to adjust and plus if i do it at like bills or ryan's it's nice to have uh an extra set of hands extra set of eyes and we can dial this right in but i think this will be fine There, I'd say that's good. We're gonna go with that. So we're gonna tighten all the uh, tighten all the lock nuts down. Let's get a view from the back. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it just like this, guys. So we're gonna tighten these jam nuts up. All right. So I'm gonna tight, tighten these down. Get the other side. I'm curious to see how the handlebars feel now because I had a lot of play before, which is driving me nuts. Alright, so that's good. So let me just check. Loosen these straps. Definitely feels better. Definitely feels better, guys. So, I think we got it. I do have something. I don't know if it's, uh... Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. I can show you guys what this is. So now we just have a little bit of play. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's in the Aeon. So, I'll grease these up, and that should, uh take care of that top little bit of play but it definitely feels nice and tight ready to rip hopefully we'll get back out on this one next week maybe for a local ride and that's it guys we gotta load this one up 
we have Wainoa this week, Seneca Highlands, which as most of you know, that's the Tomahawk GNCC location. So we got that track this weekend, so it should be a good time. We'll do the usual stuff over there, do the vlog. Got a couple racers lined up for some uh, GoPros and uh, we'll give you a little bit of race action. I'm uh, camping, so we'll get there nice and early and uh, hook you guys up with some good video, hopefully, all right? So guys, if you're not yet, please subscribe. And if you got any questions, shoot me a comment and like this video, guys, all right? So uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys, all right?